Steve, an absolute classic of an FA Cup time. The boys have dug in, showed great character after a tough week and we're into the hat for the first round. What were your thoughts on that one? Yeah, it was a bit of a classic. Um, obviously, the first first half, we were against a really, really strong wind, um, which, which made it difficult. But just disappointed with the goals that we conceded. You know, they were poor goals, you know, going behind twice. But you can't fault the boys' character, you know, in terms of coming, coming from behind. And then, obviously, controlling the game second half, probing, probing. Looked like we weren't going to get the goal, and he was going to go to pens. But then uh, we get a corner, and there's a few ricochets, and, uh, and Mickey pops up with the winner. I must be immensely proud of the boys because we worked out on the coach this morning an average age of 21 years old on that pitch today. Five debutants. Yeah. They've, they've really done a great job in tough circumstances. No, they've done themselves a lot of good and they've done themselves proud. Like you say, they're a young, young group. Um, some making their debuts. Um, obviously, some coming in from injuries. So I haven't played in a long, long time. Uh, Mickey Petrasso probably haven't played for about six months. So when you take it all in consideration, it, it was a great effort and, uh, and a great win, but thoroughly deserved. Michael won his debut, pops up with two goals. What a great start for him. That would do his confidence absolutely no harm either. Oh, exactly. Exactly. I didn't quite, I weren't quite sure who got the third because there were so many bodies in there. I weren't sure where it was Joss. But um, like you say, two goals on your debut, you, you couldn't have asked for a better start. Um, and like you say, he, he, did, he did great considering, like you say, he's been inactive for, for such a long time. Just wanted to highlight the performance of uh, young goalkeeper Eamon Azaz, his first ever start for Barnet. He's had to wait patiently and he put in a really good performance this afternoon. No, he did, because um, he had no chance for the goals. Um, so everything that he did, he, he done well. Um, took a couple of good, good crosses. Um, his kicking was decent, and he looked he looked uh, accomplished. He looked he looked composed. So really pleased with him. But you know, we weren't just you know Eamon, There was another another ten out there put in great shifts and uh, you know sort of really produced a good performance. Have you managed to speak to the gaffer yet? Uh, you must be pleased. No, he will be. No, I haven't yet. So I'll be ringing him now and telling him how it went. But he'll be watching it and via Twitter. So he's probably had more communication with you than he had with me. So now he'll be delighted. Like I say, he'd much rather be here than stuck in the house. And also the other players. I'm sure they all followed it and uh, would be really pleased for the, for the young group and the result that they got. And just moving on to Wrexham, we'll hopefully have a couple of bodies back for Tuesday night's game. But take a lot of confidence from today into what will be a good game exactly exactly hopefully a couple of bodies back boys are going to be really stiff and tired on Monday so we'll have a look at the walking wounded then and then we go again alright we go again another game to be played and, and another game to try and win and that's what we'll do